Hi, in this video you'll learn how to close a window. Basically, that's it. So, in uh, I created this previously where I, ha where I have uh, a window that can open up uh, new windows. Like that, I can put some text in here. Texty. And um, so let's say, in this case, I can also write something here and that will put some data over here. So let's say I want this to close this window as well. So it's not as easy as it looks because how do we actually do that? So we need to do something on the on action event on this button here. So let's see what that looks like. So I'll go into my cool class, which is the controller behind that. And I can see that when I click the send back button, it sets the back text on the original controller. So here I wanted to close this window. Okay, so first things we need to understand that in order to close the window, we need to gain access to the actual window. And right now we are in a controller. So the only way to know about the window is if we go for something that is related to the window. So in JavaFX, everything is built up like a th in a tree structure of what is called nodes. So um, if we look in here, for example, scene builder, we can see the top node is the anchor pane. And within that, it has some children here. We can also see it here. The anchor pane has children and that is a label and the button and text field. And these could, these cannot have children, but we could have an anchor pane within the anchor pane, within an anchor pane. This way it's it's a tree-like like structure. And if we can fetch just one of these in the tree, there's actually pretty easy to gain access to the window itself. So we already have some some of these, so we could go for any of them really um, so I could, for example, say something like label main, and then I could say get scene, which will give me the scene, uh, as we saw in here, when we create something, we actually create a stage, which is the actual window, and then we put a scene on that stage. So if we have the scene, we should be able to get the stage as well. So... But unfortunately, there is actually nothing to say get stage. But you probably saw pretty fast there's something called get window, and that will give us a window, which is a superclass of the stage. So now that we have the window, we can actually do something called typecasting. So if I type stage, stage equals this, um, I'll need to import stage from, uh, from JavaFX. And I get an error here saying that window and stage is not the same, but I know that window is a superclass of stage. So when we have a superclass, we can actually do what is called typecasting if we are quite sure that it is um, an actual stage. So I can choose cast to JavaFX stage. And you do that by putting parentheses around it and putting it in front of what needs to be typecast and it will force it into that exact uh, type. If uh, for some reason the window is not a stage, the program will die. It will crash and burn and not work. But we know in this case that it is actually a stage. So now that we have ac access to the stage, we can say uh, close and close the window like that. We do set the text first before we close the window. So let's try that. So I'll write something in here, blah, blah, blah. And we'll write something here and should update this label and close the window. Boom. So that's it. This is the easy way to do it. I think it's not the best way. And that there is some re one reason for that. So uh, right now I'm using label main. So let's say that I delete label main, then 
this will f stop working. So somehow I made the um, click here, I made that dependent on label main, but it actually, we are not using label main in here, so I just created another dependency. So if I should use something, it would be better to use this one instead because uh, that is actually something that is part of part of this method already, so I'm not creating a new dependency there. But there is also another way. So if we want to be completely sure that we are not creating any unnecessary dependencies, we know that everything that we click will have an action event uh, to it. So this action event here, we cannot get the scene on that, but there is some methods here, like we can do something like, um, we can get, we can get the um, action event and the action event of, unfortunately, we can't just easily get out uh, what we want, but on the action event, there is something uh, called get node. So, if we, uh, sorry, get source. So when we get the source, we'll get an object. And the object will be whatever we kind of uh, clicked on to uh, to um, do this action here. So that will be the source of the event. And that will probably always be a button, but in some cases it might not be a button if we use this method for some other action. So um, if we get the source, we just get an object back. And object is, we can't do anything on object, it's the basic Java object. So I actually know that the action event, the source here, I know that this source is part of JavaFX somehow. So what I can say is I can say node n equals, and I can say get source, and I can force that into being a node like that. So I'm saying I know that I'm getting a node here um, and I can say then on this node I want to get the scene, get the window and also force that into a stage. So this will work without any dependencies to anything. So you can use whatever method you want. The other one is probably easier and it won't cause you any problems maybe, but in this case, it will be completely independent on any um, instance variables or anything like that and only be dependent on something we know is there, the action event, we, we already know that that is there and that action event will always come from a node within JavaFX and we use that information to get the window which will always be a stage within JavaFX and then we can close the window. So if you think the last part was too confusing just use the easy version and deal with the consequences later. That's it.